On today's podcast, we show our love for our moms, visit with the B-Corps, and answer viewer email with the drumline. This is Blue View. Welcome everybody to another May Camp. It's Mother's Day this weekend, so we're going to hear some special messages for all you moms at home. We're also going to take a look at the B Corps, who's practicing just across the way. So stick around and we'll be right back. Are you ready for the ultimate fantasy band camp? Precision Arts is proud to present the ultimate band camp experience, July 25th through the 28th at Austin Pay State University. Watch, learn, rehearse, participate, perform, eat, and socialize with two of the best drum corps in the world, the Blue Devils and Phantom Regiment. Not only do you get to learn from the best, you get to view their 2006 productions up close and personal. And as an added bonus, students get to attend the Drum Corps International Masters of the Summer Music Games show in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Don't miss this life-changing experience. For more information, go to any one of these websites. Hurry, this fantasy camp is filling up fast. We're here with Vinny Angelo, the percussion caption head and arranger for the Blue Devils B Corps. So Vinny, tell us a little bit about this year's show. Now, this year's B Corps show, it's really cool. Last year, John Meehan and myself, who is the brass arranger, um, we started off uh, doing some of his original music. We did a show entitled Three Generations. It worked out really well. It worked out very well for the core. The judges really loved it. One of the best lootable B Corps probably in the history of the organization. So uh, piggybacking on, on that for this year, we decided let's do some more original music. So what we did is we picked some uh, original music that he has done for um, a high school that he did last year. And we just adapted it to the drum corps realm and it's been awesome. It's been the funnest show I've ever been able to arrange uh, for marching band, high school, winter percussion, whatever. It's been a blast. Do you guys have a title for it yet? It's called Chain Reactions. It's, it's basically um, a show based off visual ideas um, sequential visual movements that you'll be able to see develop. It's not something as uh, easily describable as like the Godfather where people can get it right away. So it's been pretty fun. It's coming along really well so far. Cool. Now, are you guys going to DCI this year or when does your season end? We, it ends on August 13th or 12th or whatever that great day is. So we will be in Madison this year. This will be uh, the second time in the, in the last three years that we've been gone to DCI. We went back in, uh, to Denver in 2004. We can't wait to get out to Madison to uh, compete at DCI this year because we're going to represent the Blue Devils very strongly. Well, thank you so much, Vinny. And now let's go to an interview with Debbie Seely, where she got to talk to a few of her members. Hi, my name is Debbie Seely. I am the caption head of the Blue Devil B Corps Color Guard, and I'm here today with two of my favorite girls from the Color Guard. This is Becca. She marched at Amador Valley High School, and this is her what Four. year of B Corps? Fourth Four. year of B Corps. I'm also here with Casey. I taught her at the Blue Devil Open Guard, and this is her second year at the B Corps. I started the Blue Devil B Corps in 1996, and I did the B Corps for two years, 96 and 97, and then in 1998, after I graduated from high school, I made it into the A Corps. I marched the A Corps until I aged out in 2002, and now, 10 years later from when I started the B Corps, I'm back here with the B Corps as the caption head. So this is a really exciting year for me. It's my 10 year anniversary of being a Blue Devil and I'm really, really fortunate to be in front of these girls. Since when did you want to actually be in the A Corps? Did you strive for it since the beginning or towards the end? I, um, I started Color Guard in middle school and then continued in high school and I had no idea what drum corps was. It, it was a totally foreign thing to me and I started the B Corps and I was having a good time and then I remember um, in 96, at one point we decided to run over to Mars and watch the A Corps. And so all of us, Color Guard Girls, we ran over and we sat in the stands and I remember it was a night rehearsal so the lights were on and it was really amazing and I sat there watching and I watched the Color Guard and I said, oh my God, I want to do that someday. And it, it was like that defining moment of they are the most beautiful performers and dancers I've ever seen. They're having such a great time, or at least it looks like it. <laughs> and I said, I want to do that someday. What was your um, favorite moment in uh, the A Corps? 
My favorite moment in the A Corps, let's see. It had to be my rookie year standing on the field at DCI Finals. And it was it was the accumulation of all the color guard I'd done, of my years in B Corps, my whole rookie year in the A Corps, and standing there on that field and just saying, wow, I did it. I, I made it through this season. And it wasn't until then that I really felt like, okay, I can do this. I, you know, yeah, I made it. And it was just such a wonderful, overwhelming feeling. And um, they had the fireworks going off behind us. And I just remember the goosebumps going up my arms and just, just this wonderful, wonderful feeling. And knowing that this is exactly where I want to be right now. You know, like there's no other place that I would want to be. And there's no other people that I'd want to be with. And just loving the group, loving the year, loving everything about it. So that was really special to me. What was the most difficult transition from B to A for? Hmm. I think for me it was, it's, it's weird, it's interesting. It's the same organization. You're pretty much on the same field in Concord, but it is a transition. It's a lot harder and, um, and the people are different. It's, the B Corps is fun. It's like, it's a big party all the time and you're expected to work hard, but it's pretty much a party. It's fun. When you get to the A Corps, all of a sudden it's, it's like professional and you are, they don't just want you to be great, you're expected to be great. I think the hard work, the amount of energy that you put into it is, was a transition from the B Corps, but it, I welcomed it. You know what I mean? It was, it was a good transition. I was ready to move on to that next step. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, thank you guys for working so hard. Bye. Bye. Summer nights are for Drum Corps, and it all starts in June. Get your tickets to the most exciting Drum Corps shows in Northern California. NorCal Nights, featuring the best corps in the world. Great seats available at these great shows. The Pacific Procession in Hayward, the Kaleidoscope Classic in Modesto, Precision West in Pleasant Hill, and the fabulous Moonlight Classic in Stockton. For more information and tickets, go to dci.org or call 800-495-7469. The best drum corps in the world will be at NorCal Knights. Get your tickets now. Do you have a message for your mom at home? I want to tell her that I miss her so much, and I just want to say happy Mother's Day since I'm not going to be there. So have a great Mother's Day. Hey, Mom. I wish I was going to Italy with you guys in a week, but I'm here in Concord. I hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, thank you for bringing me into this world so I can march here. Hi, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I'll see you in Allentown. Hey, Mom. I uh, just want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. I'm over here. You're probably crying right now or something like that if you see this. So I just want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. I love you. That's what he said. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. I'll be seeing you every Monday, though, because I only live two hours away, but I still love you. Mom. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Uh, I love you, Mom. I can't wait to see you. Thank you for all the the box of stuff that you sent me with Ronnie, it was awesome, I love you. See you in June! <laughs> hey mom, just want to wish you a happy Mother's Day and a happy birthday. I won't get to see you, but I'll send you a gift and uh, hope you see this on Blueview. Can't wait to see you in Wisconsin. I haven't had Mother's Day with you in like eight years because of Blue Devils, but I miss ya, I love ya, I'm aging out, so I can't wait to spend Mother's Day with you next year. See you later mom. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Drum Corps comes with many rewards and experiences. It also comes with many sacrifices, like when we can't see our mothers on Mother's Day. To all of our moms, happy Mother's Day. We love you. At BlueDevils.org, you can keep up to date with current news, get an inside perspective with member blogs, download pictures and digital media, find a show near you with our performance listings and schedule. Be sure to visit our web store, where you can find an assortment of Blue Devils merchandise. From t-shirts to CDs, DVDs, and more. Stay informed and connected at BlueDevils.org. We're here with Casey, who's the drum captain of this year's Drumline. And we're here with Mike, who's a rookie in this year's Drumline. Mike, how does it feel to be a rookie this year? Uh, actually, it feels kind of like I'm right at home, you know? Uh, 
I've drummed with a lot of the guy, these guys in this line before. I'm a SoCal guy. A lot of these guys are SoCal guys. And uh, we've marched in lots of different drum lines together. So it, it just it feels great. It's really, really cool. Sure. Cool. Well, actually, Casey, we have a question from Charlie, who Charlie. was wondering what your practice routine was when you were an up-and-coming drummer. OK, um, well. Up and coming drummer. Yeah. You basically have to. I kind of stuck with a certain outlook on things. Like I wanted to. If I had a half hour to drum, I wanted to set a goal at the beginning and then get that goal done in the end. And you know, just kind of go from there every time. Like if I wanted to take a certain rudiment, make it faster, I just work on it for as long as I needed to to get it done. So. When did you start drumming? What age? Oh man. Um, moved to Utah. When I was around 11, and yeah, I started seeing these, you know, high school bands, and I met a bunch of guys that were drumming, and took a bunch of lessons, and just went out from there. Went out to drum corps. For that. Well, Charlie asks one more thing. He wants to know what are some key abilities that allow both of you to perform at the level that you guys do. Flexible. Yeah, you have to be flexible. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we had just a bunch of changes thrown at us today. And yeah, you gotta adapt really, really fast. If you can't hang, then it's just like you just gotta be really fast. I think that's a that's a really important one for sure. Yeah, definitely. And are you guys excited for this year? Like, <laughs> what's oh yeah the I'm vibe excited. in the drumline? I'm excited. Awesome. Everything everything we've been doing has been just going at such a fast pace. Like learning, you know, getting to know everybody, getting the apartment, getting everything going. Like like clockwork all the time. So it's, it's really fun. I'm really excited. Well, yeah, cool. Totally. Well, thank you guys so much. And thank, thank all you. of you for watching. Mm -hmm. And as always, you can send your questions or comments to blueview at bluedevils.org. And then we're going to close with some drumming. Take care, everybody. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. See you.